What's up everyone? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. After a long time, I have installed AOSP extended custom room based on Android version 10 with the latest security patch. And I've installed this build on Merit B Note 8 and it's officially available for a lot of devices. And I'll provide the link for the official source so that you can download this room for your device and if this this build does not support your device then you can install the unofficial build and you may find that in XDA very easily so with that get said let's get started okay so as you can see I've installed AEX Android version 10 with the latest security patch of 5th of July 2020 this is the unofficial build for my Redmi Note 8 and I've installed this build and after installing this build what are my opinions let's check out those things first of all if we talk about the quick setting tiles everything is just same but you get some cool new features available here like ambient display you have the heads up notification options you have the screenshot options you also get FPS info option that is very quite interesting thing you get the music tile you also get the gaming mode and screen record option and some other things like bedtime mode nearby sharing me sound and focus mode etc these kind of things you get here and when you click here you also can customize these things from here this is very interesting thing that you get a lot of extra tiles option available here pre-installed that's impressive thing I've installed the full which means a mini G apps package that's why I got the pixel launcher pre-installed but by default that it is based on just AOSP so you will get the AOSP launcher pre-installed let me just tell you default apps home app you got the AOSP launcher pre-installed by default and I've installed the latest Google app so that's why I got pixel launcher pre-installed overall everything is just fine here so let's take a look at the camera first of all we have the camera latest one not this one is a MIUI 11 based camera you get the 48 megapixel camera options you get the photo mode you also get video mode including the ultra wide the normal one everything is just fine here no issues here at all everything is just fine here but it would be better if we get MIUI 12 stock camera, MIUI 12 ANX camera might be but we didn't got unfortunately. But that is not the big thing so you can compromise without that. And this is another impressive thing. We have Gcam 7.3 which is just perfectly fine including HDR+. Uh, you can use the portrait mode, you can use the camera mode, video, night sight, everything is just fine. This is the latest DCAM which I am using and this one is the DMGC version 4.5 which is based on GCAM 7.3. If you want this GCAM on your device, I'll provide the link in the description so that you can easily download that from my link and install it on your device. If you have noticed one thing, the permission, this one is the microphone permission which is on the status bar which is quite impressive which means one app is using my permission, my microphone and this notification just show me this and I think Google Assistant might be just using my mic. This is very helpful for those who just worry about some permissions from their apps and some things like that. Moving on to settings, let's check out one more thing, let me just tell you. In Magisk Manager, okay I don't have internet connection but it has safety net check is passed. Let me just tell you here. Okay go to settings and here we have the device is certified option. If a device is certified which means Magisk safety net is passed. I'm using Magisk 20.4 as you can see. I'm using Magisk 20.4 and it's just perfectly fine. So no issues here at all. That's something very much interesting. AX room has some customization options. Not a beautiful customizable room. But still the features are pretty much impressive. We got network and internet connected devices. Everything is just fine here and battery section have the battery temperature option which is quite helpful. In display section you have the option of screen timeout, double tap to wake, a display cutout option which might be in the developer options It's just removed here. And you have the theming option where you can choose a device theme to dark, black or extended UI. 
font type you can choose the fonts there are a lot of font options available here as you can see samsung one to rosemary are there are a lot you can check out any fonts from here you can choose icon shape and you can choose the status bar icons also everything is just fine here display sound storage privacy nothing is here nothing special is here moving on to extensions here we have some customization options first of all we have the option to customize the battery as you can see battery bar and some little bit of things battery styles and etc with the carrier level settings which was expected clock settings status bar items you can adjust the traffic indicator options and at last some miscellaneous extensions like ax logo on the status bar as you can see is just perfectly fine volte icon status bar and some little bit of things available here too quick setting panel customization options and navigation bar customization options lock screen customization options and in system we have the battery customization options where you can just customize the battery charging light which might be working might be not working in buttons we have the option to customize the power menu to advance restart screenshot option and some little bit of things available here music control with the volume keys and here we have in general tweaks we have the three finger gesture options and at last we have the gaming mode which was expected also all these things i have already shown you these are all the things in usb extended custom room overall this room is just perfectly fine for daily use and i'm not saying it's just great in performance and battery life but it is one of the finest rooms to use it as a daily driver this is all from today's video i just want to share with you aosp extended latest build so thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day